Hello everyone, this is the Monster Triple One, and we are playing Star Fox Adventures. Now we are currently on the search for a spell stone, and during that search we came across this strange chamber with this strange frozen fellow who seems to be holding the spell stone. So, all we can really do is flame this fellow, and hopefully we can melt him. He's got the spell stone! Well, so much for melting, all we did was free him! Eat it, Judy. So now we gotta take on this dino cockroach, as I like to call him. He seems to be a mix of a dinosaur and a cockroach. Look at what? Look at this giant fella here. So basically, what you gotta do is try and get right behind him and go after his tail for it. It can be a bit difficult, since he likes to turn around like that. Best to just try and keep your distance and then go after him. Okay, come on. Lock on this guy and try and get to his tail. God damn it. It can be pretty tough to get to his tail sometimes. I'm trying to remember how. Ah, oh, god damn it. Do I have to be close or far? I forgot. God, hold still! Okay, that was close. He just won't hold still. Ah, oh, so close! Let's try putting this on. Give him a good glass of this on his tail. There, that did the trick. All you gotta do is attack his tail three times and... He ate me? Oh boy. Well, there's a spell stone, so let's go ahead and grab it and get out of here. So, first we gotta try and get it out of this strange flesh thing. And it looks like it's fleshy part that hangs in the back of the map, but for some reason it's in his stomach. Well, at least we got out of him before we got digested, but we still have to get the spell stone in there. So, now you gotta attack his chest. So, in order to attack it, you gotta wait for him to open up. Basically, what I mean by open up is you'll see. All I gotta do is get my staff out and get ready to shoot. And that's what I mean by opening up when he gets ready for a charge, whatever he does. So best to try and keep your distance and avoid it. Whatever the hell those are. Hey, he's opening up. We'll go ahead and shoot him again. Don't want to avoid those, as usual. Now, Yeah, they sometimes leave a little bit of green fire hanging around that you gotta be careful of. And you just gotta shoot him in the chest three times. And now that we've done that, let's see. Oh god, no, not again! Well, it gives us another chance to get the spell stone. So, as usual, you just gotta attack this thing like crazy and avoid the digestive gear of things that can be looking around. There, we got the spell stone this time. Now let's just get out of here. Hopefully we don't get out the back end. Okay, he's not gonna poop us out, is he? Okay, good. He ain't tricky, too. Where the hell was he? Man, just taking care of a little pop-up. At least it's been getting in the way of my video. And that takes care of him. For some reason, my video seems to freeze a little bit there. I don't know why. It has nothing to do with the recording or anything. It's the game itself. Oh, you must forgive your father. You must work together to lead the Snowhorn tribe against Scales instead of fighting each other. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people shall no longer live as slaves. Okay. 
And we got another fog bait. We gotta take this spell stone back to the planet. And we're right back at the R Wing, so we'll go ahead and head on out. Now we gotta fly back to Dinosaur Planet. And just like to say, I've been doing a little bit of recalibrations here with my studio here to try and increase the quality of the video. It seems to be a little blurry, so I'm hoping that this here will work. I'm thinking it might interfere with the interfere with the audio a little bit where my voice and the where the voices of the characters that I'm speaking and the video aren't quite synced, so I'm hoping that that doesn't occur. So I'll just go ahead and fly on over to Dinosaur Planet. I'll do that off screen since the way is the same as last time, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've been pretty much just buying some maps, and I think I'll go ahead and show you a little secret here that I didn't know until just a little while ago. Basically, that floating down there has a special secret right over here where you can walk right through this wall and find a big-ass rock right in here. And what do you get? Three fantastic scares that give you ten apiece so that you can easily get thirty just right in there. And I don't think a lot of people know about that secret, so I just thought I'd show it. Now I think I'll go ahead and show you a few very good items. Well, some are actually very good, but some aren't. Basically, what we have over here is a little item called Tricky's Ball. Now, this unlocks another command that you can do, where you can just go ahead and play back. And you won't give me a deal on it, either. Not even one stir up of a deal. Fine. So basically all you can do with this layer is play with Tricky with it and sooner or later he'll have a special little secret that I'll show you if you play with him enough. It's not really a very good secret, but I'll show it to you anyway here since we get through. And here's an actual bed, uh, an item that is an actual use. So I'll go ahead and buy it. Thank you, I needed a deal. Now basically what you can do with this is this high tech scanner that you can use to look around and zoom in. So basically this is what it does. It gives you a little bit more of a high tech where you can zoom in on different things that are a little further away and such. So you can easily look around a lot better. Go ahead and just stare this guy right in the eye. <laughs> so that's what you're able to do with it. And as for Tricky's Ball, I'll go ahead and show that to you right now as soon as we get out of here. I think I'll just go ahead and stay on screen. And I think I'll go ahead and... Okay, I can't really go into Tricky's command thing yet. Until I get out of this place. There we are. So I'll go ahead and put Tricky's Ball on and I'll show you exactly what he does. So basically, you just want to take the ball out and throw it. And what does Tricky do? He runs after it and goes and gets it and brings it back. So he's got another doggy command, as one would say. And then I'll go ahead and throw the ball for you, and then you pick it up, and then you just throw it again. And Tricky will go after it. It's basically like playing batch. And if you do this enough, then Tricky will have a little secret here in store for you. So I'll just go ahead and continue playing with him for a little bit. Oh, and here's a nice tree that we'll need. So basically, you these here are help to light the lantern. So basically all you gotta do is hit them, hit the tree, and then hit these little fire weeds. 
because they're going to be on fire and you can't really pick them up unless you hit them to put out the fire. So you're going to need about three of these. And I think I'll go ahead and continue playing with Tricky here and then I'll come right back. So I'll be right back. Okay, we have played for Tricky for quite a bit and as you can see, he has pretty much changed color. So that's basically all he does if you play with him a lot. He'll change his color and that's about it. So I think that'll probably be good for today. This is the Monster Triple One saying goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please do comment or subscribe. And next time we will go ahead and light these lanterns and try and put this spellstone where it belongs. So, see you everyone. The reason why I'm mm, cutting this video short here is because I want to see how well it goes here. So, see ya.